there is one main peculiarity of financial communications, and that is the fact that, as the name would suggest, we are there to communicate the financial performance of companies. And what can surprise people is the way the market reacts to good news sometimes. Um, you can have a company that publishes record results or uh, record profits, and the market will react by a falling share price or negative news coverage. Um, and that really just illustrates the fact that uh, no company really operates in isolation. It is affected by everything that's going on in the market. The top five tips that I would give to any client are always return media calls as soon as you possibly can. Um, for financial audiences, always be as open and as flexible as you can be within the rules of selective disclosure. Uh, always remember that uh, we do truly live in a 24-7 digital age and nothing is really off the record these days. Uh, so everybody's got a smartphone and anything can happen and anything can end up on YouTube or Twitter. Uh, the fourth thing I think is remember that you can have quite a wide audience that you're talking to with quite a, uh, a varying knowledge base from sophisticated investors to less sophisticated trade media. So it's how you pitch your story to make sure it's right. It's really know your audience. And finally, I think I would say maintain a sense of perspective with regards to your communication and have fun.